<laughs> All right. And um, so we have the nucleus here in the middle. We have the nucleolus, right, this kind of darker staining region here. All right. This is the end of G2. The cell is about ready to divide, about ready to go into mitotic phase. Okay. Uh, we have the um, centrosomes, which are right kind of bundled up right now. And we'll have them over together on the same side for now. And if we were to look at the DNA and pull it out, it's, it'd be kind of stringy, real, real, more or less a thin fiber. Okay, at least a lot of sections of it would be really thin fibers, exposed, being used for for um, to code for proto to uh, make for well for gene expression for transcription and translation, which we'll learn about later. Okay, so the DNA be all spread out like this string. <coughs> As we go into pro, um, sorry, because we're going to prophase, the nucleus and the nuclear envelope remains intact, but the DNA is starting to condense into stringer, more identifiable strings that are eventually going to pack into the chromosomes that we can actually see. And you saw that uh, on the slide. So you see those. And the other thing is our centrosomes are starting to move apart. Now they're called asters at this point, so we can go ahead and reveal that I actually cut them out in star shape. How cute of me. No, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> and they're called asters. No bueno. Because, not because they're star shaped at all. <laughs> but because they have the microtubules kind of emanating forth from them. And they're actually, at this point, thought to be actually pushing each other apart by those microtubules. Okay, so they start to move apart. Okay? Pro, pro phase, right here. Okay? In pro metaphase, the chromosomes... are fully condensed. You can see them as sister chromatids, okay, joined together at the centromere, right? We'll see in a minute that we can pull them apart. It's about like those little Velcro things. So I'm getting ahead of myself there. But you see sister chromatids joined together at the centromeres. I'm going to throw out there six, or well, three pairs really, because and the colors actually are going to mean something eventually because uh, you have you inherited one set of all your chromosomes from mom and one set of all your chromosomes from dad. So we're going to call these your mom's set of chromosomes and these your dad's set of chromosomes. And you even have a little Y chromosome. If you're a guy, you'd have a Y chromosome, which is a little tiny nothing thing. Okay. <laughs> Just has a couple of genes on it. All right. So what's happening here in prometaphase? where we're at now, I should have had a little, yeah, prometaphase, okay, is the chromosomes are condensed and the spindle fibers are connecting to each centromere. And let's do it this way. And here's one more. Same thing happening over here. Spindle fibers are connecting also to each centromere. And they're going to not really play tug of war in a minute because it's actually, as we've learned, it's actually more like a climber. being They're pulling themselves away from each other, right, that we're going to see in a minute in anaphase. I'm sort of getting ahead of myself again. I I'm, I'm want to do that frequently if I'm not careful. Okay, so the spindle fibers attach to the centromeres of the chromosomes. And in metaphase, they line up in a single file line. And this is going to be really tough. <laughs> Maybe I didn't plan this um, <laughs> when, I, when I built my models here. I didn't plan enough space in between because I'm not going to be able to get these in a very well identifiable line. 
Well, you live and learn. This is the first time I've ever done it quite so elaborately. Okay, so let's pretend that's a straight line now. Okay, and that there's actually a difference between the way I lined them up for <laughs> prometaphase, in which they're all kind of, you know, kind of just arranged and moving into that line, and now where they really have made it into their line. So metaphase, they're lined up in a metaphase plate in this middle of the cell. In anaphase, <coughs> the sister chromatids separate from each other and start moving down the spindle fibers. Of course, I can't draw it very, I can't do this very easily. This is one of the places where the analogy is going to break down because what happens behind them as they move? They disassemble. Right. The, the spindle fibers are, are breaking down. Oh, man. Well, the best laid plans, you know. <laughs> okay. We're just going to have to not worry about that for this movie. Maybe you guys can do a better job. I'm actually going to see if, about having you guys do a movie for the next one for meiosis. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> okay. So the Y chromosome is also split too? Yeah, the y, chromosome, the y chromosome has been copied. It's a pair of sister chromatids. Okay. They split apart. And this is the key thing, right? In metaphase, here's what I don't want you to miss is what this, I even love the sound here. Okay? The sister chromatids split apart and they move in opposite directions from each other. Okay? Now you see you've got empty space in the middle. One set of chromosomes over here, one set of chromosomes over here. Telophase, right? Telophase, the nuclear envelope starts to reform. I even have. Grab those out of the way from here. <laughs> okay. And fortunately, I only have one of these. There should be two. But for now, you've got to pretend that, that this one looks like that one because I've kind of messed this one up on the back. Okay, the nuclear envelope starts to reform, the chromosomes start to relax a little bit, and by the end of telophase and by the end of cytokinesis, you have cell membrane here, cell membrane here, plasma membrane there, two distinct cells, each with their own nucleus, and those nucleus look like the original cell that started the cell cycle. All right, that's it. You can shut the movie off. <laughs>